You know, this is an episode you're not gonna want to miss. I've never had a car take two days to actually get out before. This one was a beast, quite a story, a lot of stuff inside. In fact, we still don't even know what kind of car it is. So stay tuned, you are not gonna want to miss this episode. You gotta go like this, watch. You gotta go. You can like, you can like, oh, hi. Hey! Today's episode is sponsored by OTS. We use these full face helmets to stay safe. Cut, cut, cut. Today's episode sponsor is Paralens. Look, on that side, that's their logo. Paralens dive cameras. Do you know how deep these things will go? I, I wanna say, I know it's deeper than 300. It's like six or eight. 600 feet. feet. Don't quote me on that. I've been using them for over a year. I should like have this stuff memorized by now. Incredible sponsors of ours. They've actually, I think they're one of our oldest sponsors on this channel. What's really cool is it actually records your depth and the time. I'm sorry, the, the, the depth and the temperature. And with that depth and temperature, you can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can set your depth to meters and or feet. It's a pretty cool small, I mean, it's, it's just it's just a bomber bulletproof. You can drop these, you can, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty solid. So check out that little information on the side of the screen in our underwater footage. Check out the link in the description below and back to the video. With today's mission, a uh, little dangerous. It's uh, the most dangerous one we've done to date because we're actually heading down 77 feet. We got rain, we got overcast. Tell some of the uh, other dangers that we've got today, Scott. So I think we're taking this one a lot more serious today because of the fact that we are going to just about 80 feet. We have a limited amount of time. 80 feet, you know, we've got about 20 minutes of no decompression time, so we can't be hanging out down there for 18 minutes and then bolt into the surface. That's not a good plan. We've got, we've got a creek running there. It's running fresh water, a lot of silt. So the visibility has gone from really crappy to really, really crappy. Uh, this area here, as you know, drops off with a cliff and there's logs and there's fishing line and cables and old logging gear. So uh, that's one of my other concerns is, you know, coming up under a bunch of logs or a fishing net or, or whatnot. So I think the plan is I'm going to go down and, and uh, clear the, the, the wreck or the car. It's a Mazda 6 from all the, the dangerous cables and, and, uh, and fishing line and whatever. And then I'm going to shoot up a, a, a buoy marker and then uh, you're gonna take it from there. On that note, wish us luck that you see us on the news for uh, something good, not something bad. All right, check, check, check. We got audio for into the property with Scott. He had a free flow on his uh, regulator when he went to go do the marker. Change of plans, we're not going for the Mazda today. Instead, we're gonna go get the, uh, what I call the gangster car, it's the blue one. It's at 45 feet, and we're doing 45 feet because it's not as deep with Scott already being down over 80. That's the game plan. Let's go make this happen. Okay, we found a car. Not sure which car this is. Oh, yep, this is the car I'm looking for. I remember this tire right here at the back of it. So this car is blue. Wheel. And yep, that's the blue car right there. So it's a mystery car, because we really don't know what what uh, style of car this is. We had a couple of guesses that it was a uh oh what did I say? One said it was a Chrysler. Uh, one said it was a uh what? Airline or something. Ha <laughs> <laughs> look at this. I found another car. This is hilarious. <laughs> look at that, that's an old car. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's also blue. Alright, we'll come back for that, but... Let's do this and mark the back tire. Good news, boys. We're getting two cars today. Two cars. <laughs> hey, that looks like the Martin car. <laughs> New title of this one. Found family car with treasure chest inside. What we're gonna do with that, when the wrecker gets here, right. we'll have him the cable to that. <laughs> and we're gonna do the whole, <laughs> then that sucker's gonna come out. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna be a good video. Yeah, we can do that. Right now the car is facing up on its side right now. The back is up 
a little bit higher. I'll hook onto this one. You go down and hook on this one. I'll inflate this one. Once I know that uh, you're out of the way and done, then I'll come over and start monitoring that one and start inflating that one. Sounds good. I, I think two bags will do it today. How many bags are connected? Two bags. Is he filling them up? Yeah, one bag is probably half full and the other one is probably half full. I have no idea what kind of car this is. One more tank, one more bag. One more tank, one more bag. You wanna take care of that? <laughs> no, really. All right, hold on. So we have uh, one and a half bags inflated right now. We're gonna take one more bag down. It's kind of a, uh, like wedged into some logs. It's gonna pop out of there pretty violently, hopefully. Yeah, so I'm gonna head down with this one, hook it up to the front, crank it on. Maybe just come back up. Like <laughs> move, move and pray. Yeah. Do you know oh, what type yeah. of car it is yet? Huh? Do you know what type of car it is? Oh no, no idea. What color is it? Do you know no, anything? it's blue. Okay. All right, where is the uh, bottom of this? Hold on, he's gonna complain that I'm doing a mom shot. Let me get down there. Mom shot. There you go. Oh, we can tell by the intensity of the bubbles and the smell of gas that something's gonna happen here pretty shortly. Smell gas? No. Where's the car at? The car's not coming up. Why? It's not budging. Do we need another bag? We, we need another bag, we need another tank. So I've never had this much problem getting the car up before, Tatum. Now we had the Cougar that had a log on top of it. Yeah, we, we popped the back of it on that but, one. But when you came up, that log came shooting up too, out of the water. Yeah, right work. now we have roughly 4,000 pounds of lift down there. We're gonna take this one down there. That's gonna give us 5,500, and then I'll pop off the other bag. Fingers crossed, he'll come shooting up after that, Tatum. Yep. Yeah. All right, so my thought process is, I have a fresh tank. Yep. I'm gonna head down with just a chain. Inspect. Go, go inspect, go analyze where it's caught up at and what my best anchor point is gonna be. Okay. I'll get that attached, then I'll come back for the bag and the tank. Perfect. I should have brought my four lift bags. <laughs> Eight lift bags, you know. Comes up with a chunk of the reef. Oh, tank and this is not a car. Hey, did you bring any of your bags by chance? Okay, so we've come run into a little weird situation here that hasn't happened yet. This car is either so heavy and full of silt, that or it's maybe tangled up in some ropes or fishing gear or logging equipment or something. So we've actually run out of lift bags. I've got this other 250 pounder here that Jared thinks might put us right over the edge. Uh, Jared said he was able to actually get, the, right now the car is in a position where he can lift, lift it up on end by hand, but it's just not enough to get it to float up. Right here, Jared. Right here. I'm a mermaid. Uh, gonna go down. He's, uh, he's gonna follow the bubble. We don't, have a, we don't have a bottom marker right now. 
but we're able to see where the car is based off those bubbles. The visibility is literally this far at best. So the bubbles are quite bright and shiny. You can follow that bubble stream down and I'll get him to the bags and then he can find his way around the car. Let's put, I, I'm exhausted. Okay. I mean, let's make the let's call. Let's not take surface. mom shots though. Let's bring that camera down so that way the He's complaining about see. mom shots and it's raining out here. Yeah, but if you get down lower, I'm not getting any lower. Tatum, get lower. Ugh. Show everybody the beautiful uh, landscaping over there. Rain. See, look, see, doesn't that look a lot better when we're talking about the dangers I, of what's I know going on? It does. Me being exhausted, putting Scott in the water at this point, making appropriate calls. A uh, higher risk of me dropping camera, too. Yeah, don't drop the camera. <laughs> All right, what we have at this point is um, I'm like completely exhausted. We've got, uh, are you looking exhausted? You haven't even done anything. Uh, <laughs> we have Scott down in the water right now. With that, uh, we have roughly uh, 400 more pounds of air that we can put in these bags, top them off, see if that's actually going to lift it. If not, there is a local dive shop or Les Schwab where we'll actually just end up getting an inner tube so we can float this. It's teetering right now, like it's just like, it's right on the brink of uh, being uh, buoyant and floating. But uh, it's, this is the heaviest car that we have ever done. Don't know what's inside. The trunk is closed. All the windows are sealed. Uh, I'm excited to see what's inside. And we are going to get this today because we've we've not. This is car number 25. Yeah. And we have not failed yet, and we're not going to fail today. So hang tight. I don't know what's inside of it. We're gonna we're gonna bring you a car still. Are we coming up? What's going on? Well, I found a boat. I found the other car, but I didn't find the car. Well, you you found the Toyota Corolla. Well, it was a boat. I found a boat. What do you mean a boat? What kind of a boat? I don't know. It's got a blue hull. It's right, it's right there. It's a wooden boat. Huh. Little, little, uh... Bubbles right there. I uh, know. I, I, bought, I got it about halfway down and then, uh... The current is taking the bubbles in different directions and... So you're kind of trying to stay ahead of them and... I really need a downline. Alright, so the situation goes like this. We've got elite towing showed up. We, gotta get a little rope. we have no car. Oh yeah, we do have a no, car no. for him to tow, don't we? We gotta pull us out. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do it. Oh, we can do that for Doug tomorrow. So Doug's gonna come tomorrow. Oh, you're not gonna be here. Uh, oh, dang. Scott's bailing on us. He's got to go home because we have like icy conditions up here in Oregon right now. But that's not gonna stop Tatum and I. We are uh, gonna double up on some of our lift bags for tomorrow, come back and get this car. Richard is gonna be here. And uh, we are not gonna fail. We are getting this car. We're back for day two. I've never had a car, guys, that has taken me two days to get out of the river. A boat, six days, but never a car. Two days, four bags, and two failures. Well, not tech, not me, you know, the other two guys we were with yesterday. Yeah, yeah, really, really not a failure. It's never a failure unless we actually give up. So, at this point today, what we have is we have the car that is currently upside down, kind of leaning in this direction, like this, this direction, like that. We have a bag here, a bag here, a bag here, and a bag here, or maybe we have two bags there. Anyway, right now we have 6,000 pounds of lift on it. I don't know why that car is not coming up. I think because we have a car that weighs 6,000 pounds and we have 5,999 pounds of lift. That would be my guess. So we had to come back for day two. Luckily, Scott here, he's got some bags of his own. And look at this, we brought in Mr. CIA himself. He's undercover, so we'll blur his face. Mr. Oh, we'll, we gotta change his name also. Uh, Dick Clark is his uh, <laughs> yes, given name. Or uh, no, R Richard is his given name. Oh, I can't say any of that. He's <laughs> undercover. Tatum, a couple things today. Listen, first off, I'm either called Jock or Laser. That's all I wanna be right, Also, laser. I'm the captain. If there's an issue, I'm gonna command you to do something, I want you to get on it quickly. Try my best, sir. Oh, it sunk! Well, did you find it? I didn't find it. Got a different car. Well, Jared's bubbles are right there. If you want to find the car, you can follow that line down. It's just what, oh, there it is! What do you want to pull with? Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to want to put two more, at least one more bag on the front there. Okay. Well, I'm anchored so we can anchor this thing off. We don't, it won't drift. This looks like it's drifting. Yeah, what I would like is that your bag that has the uh, chain on it. Yeah. I want to take it back down real quick and attach it to another uh, part of the axle up here. 
Do you know what kind of car it is? Oh, I still have no idea what kind of car it is. Is the window still intact? I'm hoping so. I mean, it should. We just floated it up. Okay. I can only do what I can do, man. Let's see what happens here. What's it gonna be, you think? I don't know, Jared doesn't know. If it's the one I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be like some sort of Mercury or... Hey Jared, you still alive? All right, good. If this is your first time here, uh, let me tell you about Elite Towing. These, these guys come out on their own dime to help us out with all the cars we've been getting out of the rivers. This is car number 25 today for us, which makes car number 21, 22 ish. 22. For you guys. Flip it on its wheels. Hold on. We got it. Oh, we got treasure. Of course, you guys already know there's treasure in there. Look at that. Oh, it hidden compartment. And there's mud. Oh, he's mud in the trunk. Oh. Jen. You want to work on flipping now? Should we work on the front, pull it around and flip it? You know what it is yet? No. I have no clue. But it's the one I did see on the drone, I believe. With all the bags off, we should be able to flip it now. You better not miss this shot, Tatum. Which one? The one where it flips over. I bet you it's clean. I C I C K maybe. Hey, thanks for coming out on your birthday. Yeah, man. Right, I can't think of a I better can... way to spend your birthday. Yeah. Can't think of anything more fun to do. I got you a car. Oh, it, ha it is. A it had a cloth to talk. Look at all the rivets, and this is cloth. Did you find that in the? Um... It's right in there. Huh. You know, I mean that makes perfect sense. A bong in a gangster car? Yeah. I mean, not to be judgmental. Oh, I mean, uh, don't all gangsters in blue cars have blue bongs? All the. Uh, Show me how this works. I have no idea. I don't know either. Well, actually, I believe this the, the, the smoking apparatus goes here. Okay. And you put your mouth on that. It's going to suck it up and go up and around and just, then. Just put it on the. Oh, and there's probably water. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's the family friendly show, Jared. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's how it works, Tatum. <laughs> all over your mouth. So the uh, issue that we have right now is that there's so much weight inside of this car, Tatum, is that we just simply cannot, <laughs> the, the, the tow truck doesn't have enough juice. The once it gets up on the deck, the deck's not gonna be able to finish tilting up. So as a result, do you know what we're doing with Tatum? We have to actually call for a bigger tow truck. Technically, we would need a bigger rig to pull something this heavy out. Um, as the way the truck is set up with a single line, it's not meant to move this much weight. However, we're going to attach a snatch block to the end of the vehicle, which will cut the weight down in half. And it'll take our one line into two lines, and it'll allow us to move this vehicle a lot easier and more efficient. You know, and, and I'll leave a link to a uh, Smarter Every Day just did a uh, YouTube video about snatch blocks and the way that these things work. Yep. Happy birthday to you, Richard. Happy birthday to you. I couldn't think of anything better to do on my birthday than to be out here pulling cars out of the river. Hey, Tatum, you're in the way. Move. You're in the hazard. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're in the kill zone. You don't want to get. You're still in the kill zone. There you go. I think what you just proved, snatch blocks work, Doug. That's right. It's not about how big the truck you got, it's about how, how you drive it. Mechanics. Yeah. Mechanics. Oh, 
maybe. <laughs> so I was thinking if we drive, get the car up so we can move the rig, yeah. get it up to level ground, that'll put the weight over more and be able to set the trailer or the, the bed down. Or turn and go uh, down ramp too. Except your wheel is way off the ground again. Oh wow. You need to change the tires? <laughs> um, it, it's just too much weight, really, yeah. for this deck. It's too much weight. What do you want? Yeah. Um, we're going to have to get a, another truck. So, a bigger steel deck. You know what? I, we got Matt Moss here. He's, like, incredibly smart. He had a suggestion. Let the mud out of the doors. Put it back in the water? Yeah, it won't take long to get rid of a thousand pounds. If you can get the door open, Tatum. That's the worst spot for the weight. We still don't know what's in the trunk. We're gonna open the trunk up. Yeah. So would you like me to go hey, pick up some lunch for you? Lunch might be good. <laughs> we might be here a while. Yeah, I'm thinking that we're at a stopping point. Yeah, here we have to uh, snatch block it off the truck now. I think I know what's wrong with our Way too heavy for a uh, aluminum deck. We gotta call in a bigger truck. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just putting it back in the river. Like, we're just done, oh, we're no, walking we're away. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Hey, think about how much money you guys are gonna get for this one. It's so loaded. It weighs a lot. Oh no. Brandon says you can drop them off with uh, just packed full and you get paid more. <laughs> no way, no way, no way. They're all melted down, so it's nothing but metal that ends up going to recycling. The dirt disappears. Today, we put cars back in the river. just came off. Yeah, yeah, I was like, that's killer. Yeah. You're good, you're Yeah, I don't know how we're getting out of the new truck now. That was intense. What's that right there? It's kind of glass. CD. I think it would be a C right. or that film that was on the windshield. I don't know if they did that. Hey, uh, I don't think we get any like close-ups or anything from people yet. Right here, we got mud. Over here, we got more mud. In here, we got mud. Back here, we got mud. Basically, where we look, we got mud. How much mud? Probably six to eight thousand pounds of mud. Now I can see a fair and. A quart of oil. Hey, you're uh, you're lifting your wheels up again up front, huh? You're. I'm walking away after Yeah, we might have to get another tow truck to pull the tow truck out. You know what I've noticed quite a bit with the uh, tow operators here? They do a lot of this when they're with me, or they do a lot of this. All right, can we say that we uh, officially won this we one? We won. You know, no, 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 not yet. Let's, let's not say that yet. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say it, and here's how we do it. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe, Tatum. Yeah, I clicked the follow notification, too. Did you do that one? Yeah. Later, later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.